I speak to a lot of business owners about the potential of using videos to market their product or service. They know it's really great for online presence, it helps SEO, hey, you're watching this video right now, so it's obviously a great way to spread your message. But when they actually sit down to start the process of thinking through how they're gonna execute, they totally overcomplicate things. They think it needs to be this huge production. They have to rent a space, spend a lot of money, get the biggest and best equipment, lighting, and everything. And that's really not the case. Yeah, and that's not what it's like here at Juicy Bits either. You want me to show them what it's like behind the scenes? Yes, let's do it. All right, great. So now you're behind the scenes seeing us actually filming in Juicy Bits. And so the thing I want to point out is that we're using an entry level but very high quality camera. And by the way, the first 20 Juicy Bits were actually filmed on an iPhone 6. So you're perfectly good at whatever you have at home right now. We've attached it to a tripod that I was lucky enough to find at a garage sale. The most, uh, the fanciest things we have here are our $8 Home Depot clip-on mics. These are just the things you get when you're working in your attic or your garage. And they're great because they clip on. And now this one's clipped on to about a $20 light stand that I found at Amazon.com. But if you look around the rest of the set, you'll find that everything else is just clipped on. Clipped on lights are great because we can move all around the office and we can film in different rooms. And so you'll notice now that we're simply in the lobby of Juicy Results. So we've got a couch, Kate's here with Jackson, and we're basically filming the videos. Now the only thing that's somewhat professional grade is somebody was nice enough to donate some theater quality colored gels. And so these are kind of a rose color, which keeps me from looking like a zombie when we film these. Now the most creative thing we did is we went into a little fill light and we naturally have some fluorescent light in the offices. So we found some cheap disposable picnic tablecloth in a white color, and we just put some magnets up to put it over the fluorescent light. So it doesn't take us very long to get set up, and we're able to create some reasonable high quality videos with this setup. And now you've seen the behind the scenes, and the best part is this only takes us <laughs> about 15 minutes to put together. So now you have no more excuses. You've seen how quick it can be to set up a quality video. Now, I want to encourage you to get started on your own, but I do want to give you two tips that are really important to take note of, because if you do them wrong, it can completely run your video. The first tip is sound. It's important to have strong sound, and you do that by making sure that your phone or your camera is just a few feet away from you. Don't go setting up the camera on the other side of the room or you're going to get some terrible sound. Now, the second thing that can make your video less than desirable is to have terrible lighting or backlighting. So make sure that you don't sit in front of a window where it's a bright sunny day. Make sure the light is in front of you and beaming on you. And if you do those two things, you're going to have a quality video. Well, Jeremy, and of course, the video has to have amazing content. Absolutely. That goes without saying. If you don't have great content, you shouldn't be making videos. But I was assuming <laughs> that they had that part figured out. So I want to encourage you guys, if you've been thinking about making a video or even a series of videos, Take your phone out today and get started. And I'd love for you to share a link to the video in the comments below so we can see the great work that you're up to.